Big news for our channel. Yes, you've got 200 mil lens over there <laughs> and a 28 over here. I'll What's going on? I'll take a picture on? of that because it's so far away. <laughs> One's like four miles away. Yeah, so big news for our channel. TT Artisan, a small oh, Japanese yes. company, have got in touch with us. Yes. I said, can you review our lens like you've been doing so amazingly for the other lenses? Well, they didn't say that. No, they didn't say that. I've paraphrased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's great. That's the first time ever yeah. someone has offered us a lens. So yeah, we've said, you know, the usual, not unbiased, we're going to review it yeah, objectively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's good, we're only a small little channel. Tiny, that's why that's so tiny. Uh, so there it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's tiny little lens, oh. metal lens. It's did like you, the Viltrox in Did you say it's um, manual focus? Yes, I think so. But it's quite small and it's... Yeah. Some metal involved in it yeah. there, isn't it? Oh, clicky aperture ring. You haven't managed to get that anywhere is else, have you? Yeah. All oh, right, clicks in. Yeah, and it's got two. Yeah, so we're really interested to give it a go. That's got a really smooth focusing ring. Yeah. And a lovely clicky aperture ring. I think this is the appeal of it already, isn't it? Yeah. It's not like the, because we're going to compare it to the 51.8S. That's a completely different breed, I think. Yeah. For different yeah, yeah, different yeah, yeah. tool, isn't it? That's for. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice, yeah. So we'll watch Feels really that. nice. Start of our new venture for our channel. Wow. Because you've been away for a long, we've not seen each other for a while now. A while. So, how was how was the trip? It was a what was a German World Cup six aside. It was a World Cup for six aside small well small sided pitches six yeah. aside football soccer. Yeah. It was brilliant. I mean, it's over sort of ten days, so it's two weekends. Mm. Just you know, you are shooting all day long and then editing all night really. But it's you know it's great. It was good fun. It was great. Pretty much used the 70 to 200 left well, to eight. Yeah, I was going to say, all what the way was, through, you're, you're sending me the pictures and previews, and yeah. I'm just amazed. I think it's your best work that with the 70 to 200. Was that the standout tool for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I mean, I had the 24 to 120 on another camera, which I used um, a few times, but mm. really, 70 to 200 was just mm. great. Was there a downfall with the gear you're using? What would you, anything better you could have? Oh, uh, is this like a a lead into your Pretty much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lead, latest purchase. Yes, if you could have just lent me your Z8, which I still haven't even seen yet, even though you got well, it down, down there. there. Yeah, seen yeah, it yeah. Yeah. So um, if you'd have lent that to me, that would have been good. Yeah, Back yeah. button focusing, using that, and 95% hit rate on focusing, I think. Mm. The only thing, as I was explaining to you earlier, was um, bringing the uh, EVF up to your face and, and waiting for it to Right. Recognise your face and switch on. You forget this because we're so used to the mirrorless, but even taking the photo, it goes, the screen goes black in between each photo. Yeah. Which you, I mean, I never sort of noticed. I that. haven't noticed it until, 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 so, until least da -da. two. Here it is. Oh, Ooh. I'm used to the weight of it. I like it. Here really you go. Here, have a hand. This is your first look and handle of the Z8. I'll put the 50 on there just to. Uh, That's nice. I knew it was going to be a bit chunkier, heavier. And chunkier, but actually, the balance is nice, isn't it? It feels well. Yeah, I mean, you can feel, feel it is heavier. Yeah, yeah I but think it it's is. A it's heavier, a nice, but it? it still feels that you know the whole mm. finger grip or whatever you yeah finger grip. But yeah, turn it on and um, I've, on I've, since I've had it, I haven't turned it off. Oh, I can turn it on, can I? Yeah, you, you know, for now. Ooh, nice little click. I haven't turned it off auto eye function for birds and people because I've never had to yet. So it just does everything. Yeah, you have a go taking my picture if I go over here. Bloody hell, you took that 20. I, that, <laughs> that is the other thing I could have done with, with a, a much faster frames per second yeah. for sport. It's like a machine gun, it's amazing. Yeah. It's the only thing that worries me about that is then you end up with like millions million of photos. photos. You have to be selective. And, but you know, but the, that speed of it though and everything is just amazing. <laughs> I was dreading doing this because... Mm, now you want one. Yeah, that's the trouble. So I need to sell some gear. I need to go... Th I've got... Anybody want to buy a 1.4 <laughs> teleconverter? <laughs> Dead man. But yeah, put it to your eye, see what the, the difference is with the, because you were saying about the Z6 is a bit slow to change. Well, it's just there, isn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. And if you take a photo with it, you'll see how quickly it just, you don't really notice you're taking oh, a photo. Wow. I could have really done with that. The <laughs> trouble is, I'd have had t three times as many photos. photos to edit. Yeah. And I was trying to be selective because the danger is, you. You keep taking photos because you feel like you should be taking yeah. some, some. I really think this is a new era for Nikon this year. I'm really impressed with everything yeah. they've released. And I the mean, we've ranges. been moaning about it 
for a ages, haven't we? Saying we've been Nikon users have been left behind compared mm. to Sony and Canon, and but this is no, I'm just so impressed. With brought it back up today, but it's just it's, it's like as you'd expect, well made. It feels comfortable. I feel that what this is like with the 70 to 200. Because yeah. I mean, I must admit, all day long in the heat in Germany, sitting right. next to the pitch, taking photos yeah. with the 70 to 200, even with the, the Z6 II, it's I was like. Kit. The, ah, the neck is killing me at the end of the day. That leads in perfectly to oh. the new Nikon Millennium lease. The 70 to 180 2.8 non S lens. Yeah. Now, so a quick recap of this is no VR, uh, but it's a lot smaller and just over half the weight. Right. So. I'm not iconic. That 70 to 200 is. It's like good. The best lens I've ever used. It's so nice. I can't imagine. I'd love to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah. But again, if you're traveling, like you were for long use, having that versatility, half the weight and half the size. Yeah, but I was traveling for you know, a professional job then. So. Yeah, but if you're traveling, because it's half the weight and yeah, half the size. Yeah, I guess if you're traveling for leisure, then And yeah. you've got almost a 180, 2.8 on your, in your Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love it, to see the comparison. It'd be nice to try it, yeah. Because the other thing we found, there isn't a huge difference between S lenses and non-S no, lenses, is there? I think the lines are very close now. Yeah. If, I know these are like Tamron, re Nikon re-engineered ones, but who cares? Is it? It's well, it doesn't matter, does it? It's no. Like, it's how matter. it performs, so... So, I, I mean, the price of it, though, is £1,300. I think that's, that's quite not, expensive. It's not cheap, is it? Because I got my 7200 yeah. for £1,700. Open box. Open box, brand new. Wow, which is so amazing. That's, what, £400 yeah. more? You can get that. So, but brand new, obviously it's two, over two thousand pound, so it's a thousand pound more. Mm. But I think it's a good option. Oh, I've made a decision about my ZFC uh, prime lens because I was going to go over the Nikon twenty four one point eight or the Viltrox. Yes. One point four. I've decided, with help of the viewers' comments, to go to Viltrox. No. Because Nikon. Yeah, it's half the weight, half the size. I thought I want. To be, oh, that's right. Yeah, because that's like a pancake. Yeah. Isn't it? The Viltrox is more like a and normal size. And a few people have said, well, I can use, because I've missed the aperture ring, but I can use the focus ring as an aperture ring if I really want to. Right, yeah. So it's an in-between. Yeah, it yeah. might not work as well, because it might slip. But mm. So yeah, I'm not going to, I'm in no rush to get it though. It's not even available yet. But right. when it comes to it, I think that would be well, the it's decision. It's a good job in no rush then, isn't it? I think I'm available. spending a bit much, really. So there we go. Lots going on in the Nikon world and for us. So we've got lots of views coming up as well.